The Queensland government's trying to claw back power prices by doing a deal with an interstate retailer offering big discounts to homeowners. The bold deal signifies a government return to the electricity market after bowing out a decade ago. But the opposition says it's just a con job. Perth-based Alinta Energy crashed onto the Queensland scene overnight. Signing up this Stafford Heights couple as its first customers for a 25% discount. We're a pretty big family, four kids and two small businesses, so yeah. any money we can save is good money. The deal has been switched on through a partnership with the government-owned CS Energy. We own our assets in Queensland. Giving the government the power to jolt the market into action and inject competition. You either now need to step up to the plate or there's going to be a lot of people uh, moving into Alinta as they should. CS Energy will provide wholesale electricity to the joint venture while Alinta manages the retail business. We have now been able to, to deliver into South East Queensland is energy pricing that you've not seen for many, many years. But the deal won't extend to cash-strapped regional Queenslanders. Instead, they have to hope a $480 million government subsidy will be enough to maintain price parity. What we're seeing today is a con job. Over 460 Queenslanders a week are being disconnected due to soaring prices. And it's a cynical attempt by Anastasia Palaszczuk uh, to buy votes. And again, it flies in the face of what you might call free enterprise or the free market, uh, where you see governments and, and business get together to uh, perhaps keep prices artificially low. So is the Premier going to make the big switch? Absolutely. Savings equal $350 over two years. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.